is going on YouTube world? My name is Jemima McKinney, or you can just call me Juice because that is my nickname. I appreciate you guys for watching this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right about now as it does help these videos get to the public and my channel to grow overall. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos weekly and almost every single day if I can and turn on post notifications too so you do not miss a single one of those videos that I post. It is only right, you guys. The Patriots dynasty is officially over. Okay, it's over. Okay, it's it's over. The Patriots are done for. And what I mean by that is they've been competing for Super Bowls for the last 20 years. Okay, pretty much every single year they were in the mix. They were pretty much in the playoffs. They were arguably maybe guaranteed a spot in the AFC title game. Obviously, they had some bumps along the way. Obviously, they lost to... Some teams they probably shouldn't have lost to. You know, Mark Sanchez got him a couple of times. Joe Flacco got him a, a couple of times. But again, for the most part, nine times out of ten in this decade, the Patriots were probably going to be competing for a Super Bowl title. I think those days are numbered. I don't think the Patriots next year, even if Tom Brady comes back, I don't think they can win a Super Bowl. I think it's over. I think a 20-year run of excellence and a 20-year run of constantly competing for Super Bowls you know, they, they were fortunate enough, to, fortunate enough to go to nine Super Bowls. They were fortunate enough to win six Super Bowls. And by fortunate, I mean, yes, very fortunate because they had a lot of luck and a lot of breaks that went their way. Of course, there was some cheating involved. It, of course, there was Spygate. Of course, there's a small asterisk to the Patriots dynasty. But in the end, you kind of got to just give it up to the Patriots for how long their dynasty lasted. They had a great run, but... In the AFC Conference alone, with quarterbacks like Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, Lamar Jackson, heck, the Buffalo Bills roster is really good. The Tennessee Titans have found their quarterback now. Ryan Tannehill, Derrick Henry is a stud. He's not going anywhere. Um, and the Patriots, Tom Brady. Tom Brady's 42 years old, man. And they just don't have the parts around him in order to compete immediately next year. They'd have to have a very good draft and a very good free agency period to be a Super Bowl team next year, okay? Now, the thing the thing I'm trying to get at here is, look, if you're just talking about quarterbacks, the Patriots are at a disadvantage because right now, Patrick Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, and Lamar Jackson, they're better quarterbacks right now than Tom Brady, okay? They have a clear quarterback disadvantage from the three true AFC contenders next year. And if Ryan Tannehill keeps up what he's doing this year, he's going to be a better quarterback next year by next year than Tom Brady, okay? He's going to pass Tom Brady next year if he continues to be on this absolute tear that he's been on this year, okay? You notice how Tom Brady and Drew Brees both lost in the first round of the playoffs despite being heavy favorites? It's not shocking to me because I just think the game has passed Tom Brady and Drew Brees. It's passed away from guys that are just not that mobile. Drew Brees and Tom Brady are sitting ducks in the pocket. And they're no longer the prolific passers they used to be. That's the problem. And just overall, in the Patriots division, okay, the Buffalo Bills, they're going to be pretty good next year. Josh Allen, what if he takes another step? What if they draft him another wide receiver? The Buffalo Bills were already threatening the Patriots this year. Next year, if Josh Allen takes another step and that team gets more experience based off this year and they learn from that playoff game versus the Texans, the Bills could be a Super Bowl contender next year. They have a very good young defense. They retooled their offensive line. Josh Allen seems to be like a starting quarterback now. And Sean McDermott is a pretty good pretty good head coach. You know, Sam Darnold. What if Sam Darnold gets some real weapons around him next year? What if they, what if they fix the offensive line? What if they get him a C.D. Lamb or a Jerry Judy in the draft, okay? I'm not saying the Jets are going to win the division next year, but the Jets' last nine games of the year, they went 7-2, I believe, okay? So the Jets, there's some things to be had there as far as them at least giving the Patriots a run for their money. The Miami Dolphins, they beat Tom Brady and Foxborough with Ryan Fitzpatrick. What if they get Tua Takabaloa and some more players next year? Brian Flores is building something real in Miami. Their division is no longer a cakewalk. The Patriots division has been a cakewalk for the last 20 years. That is no longer the case. I believe that the Patriots brand and their offense, has it's kind of an old, washed-up brand to a certain extent. 
it's not as creative as it used to be, okay? Yo, Tom Brady, I don't know if he wants to be there really, quite frankly. I really don't. Um, I think Bill Belichick's ego has kind of gotten in the way of Tom Brady, you know, putting up with Bill Belichick. I The thing about Bill Belichick is he wanted Jimmy G in Foxborough a couple years ago, okay? But ownership outruled Bill Belichick. They said, nope, we're going to keep Tom Brady and we're getting rid of Jimmy Garoppolo, okay? Tom Brady's days look a little bit numbered. And Bill Belichick, he kind of has a big ego. I, In my humble opinion, if you put a lie detector to Bill Belichick right now, he will tell you that, oh, yeah, last year, I could have won the Super Bowl with just an above average quarterback. Tom Brady wasn't special. Tom Brady only put 13 points in the Super Bowl. I had the highest limitations. I believe that I could win with someone else. And, you know, I believe their offensive system is kind of rigid. I think that it's too complicated. I believe that one, that's one of the reasons why their young wide receivers have not quite frankly worked the way some of these other young wide receivers have worked in the NFL so far. Uh, AJ, AJ Brown comes right into Tennessee. He contributes. Debo Samuel comes right into um, San Francisco. He contributes. Even Muhammad Sanu could not pick up the Patriots system midway through the season. And Muhammad Sanu is an eight or nine year veteran wide receiver that went to a pretty good school, okay? He's pretty smart. He, could, he couldn't even pick up the Patriots offensive system. It's too rigid. It's too complicated. They need to change some things. And until they change some things, they're not gonna win. And who says Tom Brady is going to be with the Patriots next year? In my opinion, I don't know. I think Tom Brady probably stays in New England. But again, who's to say Tom Brady says, man, Bill Belichick, you surrounded me with virtually no weapons. Those wide receivers I have, they stunk this year. Who's to say that he says, man, you guys haven't replaced Rob Gronkowski yet. Where's my tight end? You never wrapped, my, you never wrapped your arms around me, Bill Belichick. You wanted Jimmy G. You know, I've been taking pay cuts for a while. Where is this money going to? Apparently, it's not going to the opposite side of the football. These wide receivers are not getting it done. Again, I'm a little bit older. But hey, you know, I, I could use a Julio Jones. I could use an Antonio Brown. Why was Antonio Brown cut? Why was Demarius Thomas cut? Why were all these players that were in my building let go by Robert Kraft and this Patriots organization? What about my salary cap? I want to make some money next year. I've taken pay cuts forever. What if I want to get paid paid again, paid once again? Do you think the Patriots are going to pay Tom Brady top of the level quarterback money next year? Oh, no, no, no. He's 42 years old. He's very limited. The Patriots are not going to pay Tom Brady a boatload of money next year. Okay? And there was an interesting quote that Tom Brady said about the Patriots after his loss to the Tennessee Titans. He said about, about his stats next year, about whether or not he'll return to Foxborough or not. Okay? He said... If it's the Patriots, great. If that doesn't work, I don't know. I think I can still play at a championship level. Tom Brady is not all in. And what that tells me, that last statement that Tom Brady says, hey, I ain't washed. I'm not done. Maybe I'll take my talents to, to, talents to the Chargers. Maybe I'll take my talents to, I don't know, Tampa Bay with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin, okay? Tom Brady could leave the Patriots. And I believe there's a sense of an ego that Tom Brady has to where he could say, man, Bill Belichick and, and this organization, they won Jimmy G over me. I want to prove them wrong. I want to prove to them, hey, I can go to another team and still be pretty darn gone good. Tom Brady could go to the to the Colts next year. He could go to the he could go to the Raiders next year. He could go to the Chargers next year. He could go to the Buccaneers next year. He could go to the Bears next year. He could go to the Titans next year. He could even go to the Panthers next year, who, who probably need a quarterback if Cam Newton is gone. So there's a there's multiple teams that will be looking for quarterbacks next year. Tom Brady seems like the guy that embraces a challenge. And I would not be shocked if Tom Brady leaves next year. So again, bottom line, I don't think the Patriots have the players next year to win a Super Bowl. I just don't think they have the wide receivers. I don't think they have the quarterback. If Tom Brady returns next year, I think Tom Brady is very limited as a quarterback. I think he's I think he's arguably the greatest quarterback to ever live. But again, 
He's just not the same guy anymore. And also, if Tom Brady leaves, it's just not going to be the same. So either way, I think the Patriots dynasty is officially over. It's been a nice run for Bill Belichick and Tom Brady. Again, if Tom Brady and Bill Belichick return next year, we shall see what happens. I don't think they'll win the Super Bowl. They might be in the picture. But again, bottom line, I just get a sense that Bill Belichick and Tom Brady are done winning Super Bowls together in New England with the Patriots. Be sure to comment where you agree with me and disagree with me. Love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right now if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos weekly and almost every single day if I can. A fun fact about me is I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world. I want to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. Kind of like Colin Cowherd, Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp. You get the point. Okay, I want to do sports, television, and radio for a full living once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. So the best thing you guys can do to just help me continue to grow as a young broadcaster is to just share this channel with all your friends because potentially if this channel really, really gets somewhere, I want to start my own network, okay? You know, or potentially if it doesn't, you know, or if I fall a little bit short, I want to go into a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. So the best thing you guys can do to just Flat out, just help me grow as a broadcaster. Help me learn. You know, get other people hit to this channel. You know, just share this channel with all your friends. Share this channel on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Instagram. All that good stuff. Also, be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. And once again, guys, just share this channel with everyone you know. Get everyone hipped and watching these videos. Get my voice out there and heard. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Share it on Instagram. All that good stuff. It's been your boy, Jemai McKinney, or you can just call me Juice. I appreciate all you guys for tuning in today. I really do. Have a God-blessed day. Stay motivated, you guys. And I'm out.